So yesterday I finished my 30 day no sugar challenge so that I had no sugar for 30 days and just to clarify I did eat f um, fruit and dates so I had natural sugar from fruits but I had no added sugar so anything with sugar added like cakes, cookies, any drinks, um, just anything with any added sugar like cane sugar, honey, I didn't have any of that for 30 days so I only had natural sugar and a lot of people have been messaging me and asking me like why I did this challenge and how I feel now and what the results are so I will explain <music> A lot of people are asking why I did this challenge. It's not because I was addicted to sugar. Um, the reason I did this is because I wanted to see contrast. And when you're doing something your whole life, so having sugar your whole life, um, you don't really see the contrast and what your life could be without it. So in this situation, I wanted to see how my body feels without sugar. And I feel like it made a huge impact Sugar doesn't offer any nutritional benefits for your body. It's not a fat, it's not a carb, it doesn't give any protein, it doesn't give any enzymes or nutrients, um, it doesn't give anything. So, and, and like the only thing it really does is screw up your body. Um, it's not good for your skin, it causes your body to store everything as fat. So the sugar you take in is just, your body's just going to store it as fat. Your, your liver gets more toxic. Um, it causes diabetes, heart disease, it causes inflammation. So any pain in your body just makes it feel that much worse. So that's why I stopped uh, sugar for 30 days. I just wanted to detox my body. All of that processed sugar is crap and doesn't really provide any nutritional benefit for, for your body. But with that being said, fr uh, sugar from fruits and dates that's naturally in there is actually good for you because not all sugar is the same. Nowadays, the amount of sugar that's in everything is like way too much for our bodies to handle. We're not designed to be eating that much sugar. And that's what these companies do. They add all this sugar in every single thing you buy to get you addicted to it, right? So I wanted to just cut that out because I did have a sweet tooth. Like I would probably have like sweets like every week. And I just wanted to cut that out because I really want to detox my body and have optimal health. That's all, that's like my main focus for this year. So I'm cutting out sugar. Uh, I posted on my Instagram yesterday that I wanna cut out sugar forever and that I do want to do that and that is my plan. So what that means is all processed added sugar. So like cakes, cookies, chocolate, uh, adding like honey or sh cane sugar to like my hot drinks or any of that. I, I wanna cut all that out. The only sugar that I'm gonna have every day is fruit. Cause you do need sugar in your diet, but from natural uh, and whole sources like fruit, that's what that's what nature has created all these uh, fruits for you, right? Because it's natural, good sugar for you. So, yes. Oh, and just to summarize the benefits that I feel that I achieved from the 30 day no sugar challenge, and which is why I want to continue, is number one, I literally don't have any cravings for sugar anymore because I psychologically uh, didn't allow myself to have it for 30 days I completely forgot about it so then I don't have any cravings which I th that was one of my goals so I have no cravings I feel like my endurance has increased um, like I'm not the craziest cardio person ever or I don't have the craziest cardio but I feel like by cutting the sugar I can run for longer periods of time so now that I when I go running I feel like I could just keep going for longer and I, I really like that. I don't get tired as fast. And even in day-to-day -day life, I feel like I'm not getting tired as fast and I don't really have these crashes anymore. I kind of maintain like a good level of energy throughout the day because I'm eating better. And what else? I don't, the inflammation. So I would have like a lot of aches and pains after training, like especially my wrist, um, my back would get really sore, my lower back. And lately I haven't really been feeling that. So I think that's also a part of not having sugar, the inflammation has gone down. And what else? I can't really think of anything else right now. But I only did 30 days. So that is a good amount of time to detox your body, but I want to take it further. I want to, I want to see more of a contrast of not having sugar in my life and see what that does to me. So I want to try like another 30 days now and uh, maybe 60 days, right? So when I say I want to cut out sugar for life, 
that does mean I will have it sparingly. So, you know, here and there, if I'm at like a birthday party, maybe I'll have a piece of cake, right? But I'm not gonna bring it home. I'm not gonna crave it. I don't wanna crave it. I don't want it around the house. I'm not gonna go out and go buy it. So that's my goal, to cut out sugar and live an optimal, healthy life from the inside out. Okay, that's it for the sugar part. And now um, I'll just kind of show you what I did today. So first I went to get to the bank, then I went to go get some glasses. So I'm at an eyeglass store and I wanted to get glasses like Dwight shoot from the office. So I'm trying to hunt those down. If you don't know who Dwight is, it's like one of my absolute favorite characters ever created on a TV show and I would like glasses like him because I want something a bit more lighter and thinner. So I'm trying to hunt those down. It's actually a bit harder than I thought it would be. And now I'm at Marshall's, I got some soap. Everything has SLS in it, except for these two things that I found. It's so freaking hard. Like why the hell are these companies putting SLS into these products? That's a really harsh chemical. Now I actually have a meeting with a client, a potential client, and I need to get my phone from the car because I'm meeting her now and I don't know what she's saying or where I'm supposed to meet her. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. And we got some groceries. What did we get? Some organic power greens, uh, some organic zucchini, a bag of organic zucchini, some organic dates. Love those. Uh, more spinach because you've got to make those green smoothies. And then we got some organic almond milk. Okay, the lighting is a bit better here. I find that Costco has a, like a decent amount of organic stuff that you can get at a good price. So um, I always get like all my greens from there, almond milk, um, dates, tofu as well. Actually, yeah, I got tofu. So this pack of organic tofu, so there's three different packs in here. This is $6.99 at Costco. That's so cheap. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments about the no sugar challenge, you can leave them below. And also, if you don't believe what I'm saying about sugar, do your own research. Google has so much information out there. Just enter it into Google and do your own research. Don't take my word for it. And also try it out. Uh, this no sugar challenge for me was all about the contrast. I wanted to see how my body felt without having sugar in it. So you're not really gonna know how your body is without it. Right, so you've got to have that contrast and and uh, experiment, experiment on your body in a good way. And the results will speak for themselves, so I love it. And that's it for today, so I'm gonna go and edit this and put it online. Thanks for watching today and see you next time.